Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, one, hello, two, hello, three. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Sorry. A la una, a la dos, a las tres, ya. Good evening. Okay, you see everyone. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I think Gabriela is here. Ever, Angel, Edgar, and Tichetna. Okay. We, we are here. Thanks for being here, everyone. <laughs> Everybody, thanks for being here. Okay, well, well, well. Today we are going to work a little bit on the last section of the manual, right? For us to finish with everything, it is going to be a, a nice and interactive class to practice gerunds and infinitives. Okay, welcome to the rest of students that are connecting. Ceci, Cesar, eh, Ceci and Cesar, Samuel, Angel, Ever, and Gabriel. Okay, Marita, welcome. How was your weekend, people? What did you do? What did you do on your weekend? Nothing. Mm. Sleeping yeah. and sleeping and existing. Hi, good evening, Cesar. How was your weekend? Bien. Well, well, I. On Saturday morning, I was working. After that, I I was at the gym with my friends. And Sunday, I was sleeping all the day. How beautiful. I envy you. My God. So you were sleeping the whole day. What about the rest? Very nice description. You see, Cesar told me, right, Saturday morning, I did this and this. After that, I did this. At night, I did this. And on Sunday, I did this and this, right? It was a very good description of the weekend. What about the rest? What did you do on the weekend? Hoy vinieron mudos. ¿Qué me les hicieron? ¿Quiénes son y dónde están mis alumnos? Uh -huh. Sandrita, what did you do on the weekend? And then Ever, and then Abel, and then Cecilia. Ever, go ahead. Hello, good Hello. evening. Hi. Hi. What did you do on your weekend, Ever? Uh, on Friday. I went to Guatemala. Oh, uh, nice. On Saturday morning, I work. And on Saturday evening, I went to the university. And, the, and I did an, an exam. And, oh my God. I forgot how to say Domingo. On Sunday. <laughs> on Sunday, sorry. <laughs> On ah, no, Sunday. A, a principiant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, teacher. On Sunday, I went to the university too and did a not an exam. And on Sunday night, I eat a lot. I ate a lot. I, I ate. ate a lot. Sorry. Very good. Thank you, Ever. Nice, nice. Sandrita, go ahead. Good evening, chair. Hi. Um, <laughs> on Saturday, I sleep I in the slept. morning. I slept. I slept. <laughs> I slept in the morning and I work in the afternoon. And in, in, in Sunday, I cleaning my house. I cleaned. All day. I, cleaned I cleaned, cleaned my, my house. house. All I day. My house. All okay. Day. A very, very a very I imagine <laughs> at night you're like ah existing. Right. Good, yes. very good. Thank you, Sandra. Edgar, go ahead. 
Edgar, and then Ceci, and then Nidia. Okay, poor a little Abel. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. He has been running around back and forth. Poor. Yeah, I've been running back and forth. Oh my God, why? I know. <laughs> uh, my, my little daughter, I mean my nephew, uh -huh. is... Uh, his father passed away. Her, I mean, his father passed away, and I, I've been taking care of him. Oh, really? And how old is See, he? Uh, she's, uh, he's started to. Oh, okay. I've been taking care of him. Oh my God! Yeah. That's that's pretty. Like I, I mean. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty hard, I imagine. Yeah, that is difficult. So, and you have been helping, I mean, with everything, I imagine. Yeah, especially emotions. Yeah, that's the most difficult part of everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Understanding what is going on and how is that yeah. happening. I think there is no age for you to understand death. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's hard for everybody, even if you are young or old you are very reluctant to understand the yeah, cycle. Exactly. Well, thank you, Edgar. What a, what a curious thing. We are helping you as well. Aquí te ayudamos a vos también. So, okay. it's, a, <laughs> so it, it is interesting. Nice. You see, that's why it's important, the question. What did you do on the weekend? So we can help each other here. And we support yeah. here. Thank you for yeah. sharing, Abel. Okay. Ceci, how was your weekend? Hi, teacher. And um, on Saturday, Saturday on morning, I went to my mom's house and then uh, went to the supermarket with my husband. And, and at night, we saw a movie. We watch. We watch a movie. And Sunday, we went to the church and uh, a lunch I make or I did? I, I made, tacos. I made. Ah, in that case you can say I prepared. I prepared tacos to lunch. Oh, nice. And the dress all the day, I, I sleep. I slept, <laughs> you say, I slept. I slept. You slept. Okay, good. Yeah. Very good. What about you, Thank Nidia? You. Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Hello. And my weekend and the Saturday in the morning, asleep. And the afternoon is at work. In the Sunday, two at work in the morning. And the afternoon is a beach uh, with my family. Um, uh, ¿Cómo se dice? A recoger una. A recoger arena. Oh, to, para to, una tarea. Or, ah, okay. What a beautiful homework. I would love. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> pudimos, pudimos ir a Fremont a comprar. <laughs> but we need to go to the beach. Vamos a la playa. We need to go to the beach. A homework to my children and. Any, anyway, right. Anyway, what a I, beautiful I, homework. I need that kind of homework. I need that kind of homework too. <laughs> yes. yeah. So that's beautiful. Okay. Thank you, Nidhi. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay, good. Very good. So we, we all need that homework therapy in their life. Right. I, I need some sand, right? Mañana me van a traer, por favor, una, un, un saco de arena de mar, okay? <laughs> For the virtual class, just to show it to me. <laughs> and that would be like, so like, no, teacher, Nati told me that I need to go to the beach. I need some sand, right? And you will go. And you will go and get it. Well, you see, Nice thing that you can go to the ocean and get sand. That would be fantastic. So we are going to work today a little bit. Every day you should think about this question, okay? 
cada día que les hago la misma pregunta casi siempre se me quedan callados, pero siempre, imagínense cuánto les serviría pensar cada día en la respuesta de esa pregunta. How was your day? What did you do? Y como les decía el otro día, llevarlo en un diario, en una página, en un papel, en un cuaderno o en el teléfono, en notas para usted mismo. Usted ya se puede mandar mensajes a usted mismo. Entonces pone su número y ya se escribe en el WhatsApp. Today was a difficult day because of this and this and that. So you can write and practice. How much would you advance? Imagínense cuánto avanzáramos si solo hiciéramos esa tarea todas las noches. ¿Ok? Ahora les envío un video. Bueno, en realidad les envié dos links de dos videos. Eh, ¿pudieron, ¿Tuvieron la oportunidad de ver lo que les envié? Mm, ahora ya estoy <laughs> So, with the practice that I send you, it is good for you to use between module and module, right? Cuando pasan un módulo, casi siempre tienen una semana libre en la cual no practican ni hacen como mucho con el inglés. Entonces, pueden utilizar esos enlaces que les envié Ahí, cuando entren a uno, van a ver todos los demás de la, misma, de la misma persona. Y esos enlaces sirven mucho para pronunciación, para fluency, para eh, speaking, para grammar, para vocabulary. Y el ejercicio que les envié consta de tres partes. Repetición. Eh, no, primero es escucha, repetición y práctica al mismo tiempo. La idea es que ustedes primero escuchen el audio y vayan como, escuchando cómo ella lo dice. La segunda, repetir después de ella. Y la tercera es hablar al mismo tiempo que ella. Entonces ese es el reto de las tres partes del de video. Así que si tienen el chance de verlo, háganlo. Después de ese video hay muchos más que pueden practicar. Les voy a compartir más, más este, prácticas para que las puedan ocupar en, esta, en este break entre módulo y módulo para que no me digan, ay, no, te no practiqué for you to practice, okay? Because if not, everything that you have advanced is going to be lost. So please. It's interesting, the video teacher. The videos are very good. And she speaks very clear and her pronunciation is nice. And you can see the, the, the words in the video. So it is good because you can practice at the same time. So please, 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 please practice, okay? Practice with the different videos that I am going to be sharing because maybe you are going to have the time this week. And I don't know if we are going to start before Holy Week or after, so you can have the time for you to practice. Así que si les queda todavía la, la Semana Santa y no hemos iniciado, you can use that to practice. So keep that in mind, okay? Keep it in mind. It is very useful. It is really good. and you can take the best advantage of it. Well, after this introduction, we are going to go over the class, okay? I am going to share my screen with everybody and please do it. Important, right? Thank you to all the ones who sent the picture of the platform. Gracias a todos los que enviaron la foto del progreso de la plataforma. ¿Hay alguien que todavía no la haya enviado? ¿Todos la enviamos ya? Good. Tam. Ok, good. <laughs> que no les dé pena, si no lo terminamos. So please, eh, it is important. Okay, remember our agreements in class. Practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on during the whole class. Attend your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude and for sure, Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. We started to check on the previous classes that we were going to study gerunds and infinitives, right? I was mentioning that, right? The, that the use of gerunds with two and the use of if infinitives with ing. We are going to have a little practice on that today. So I have here a short conversation and it says, I am so broke. I need to find a job. Broke, it means that you don't have any money. It's not that you are quebrado. De, ah, me quebré. No, I'm so broke. It's like quebrado and no money. I really need to find a job. So do I. Yo también. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? 
a door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No, thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you, an assistant. Entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling and I have never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours. If the pay is good, let's do it. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. So two different types of jobs, salesperson and working in a cruise which one which one would you like to choose do you think that you are good for selling who is good for selling here let's see yes selling okay edson is good at sales yes edgar is good for sales who else me okay joanna is good for sales Yes. Who else? Who is good at teaching? Who is good at teaching? Can can la área de maestro aquí? Who is good at teaching? Me teacher. Okay, Ceci, good. Um, uh, Friday at night, I in the church I teach a. Uh, how do you say uh, maestra de escuela biblica? Oh, you, you teach about the Bible. I teach about the Bible. Yes, I Na teach about the Bible. About Bible. the Bible. About the Bible. Yes. How beautiful. Uh -huh. Me too, teacher. Uh -huh, Jesus. Too. Uh, because I, I teach my son to read and uh, and write. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, when he was a, uh, when he was a child. Oh, well, now you see, you are a good teacher. You might be a good teacher <laughs> then. Who might be a good doctor here? That you say, no, I am good at this, like healing and medicine and everything. Oh, it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it is. Uh -huh. I am studying medicine. Oh, Isabel, you see, we have a doctor here. <laughs> we are safe, right? Ya teníamos a Jesús con nosotros y ahora una doctor. We are double safe. Jesus is here. And now Isabel, the doctor, is here as well. Well, so you can see that uh, it says like, not at all, right? Are you kidding when you don't, don't really think that you are good? at something, right? So here we have different examples of uh, infinitives and gerunds, right? Let me just show you right here. When it says, I am not good at selling, right? I'm not good at selling products. The next one, I like traveling, right? The next one, I don't mind working long hours. Let's see. Let me see another example. You have to work every day, right? This is an, an infinitive. And these are gerunds. I am going to show you here a little bit in detail about this. Let's go here. Here we have the examples. It says, I like traveling. This is a gerund, right? Los terminados en ING son los gerunds. Los que van después de tú son los infinitives. Okay, here we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, and be interested in. I love going to the movies. I love watching videos. I love cooking, right? I like traveling. I hate working on weekends. I'm not good at using a computer. I don't mind working. I'm not good at selling. I can stand making, right? So based on these examples, give me sentences like this ones, but we are going to use just the starting point. Let me just move it here a little bit, okay? 
I need you to change the information, right? You are going to use, I like, I hate, I'm not good at, I don't mind, I am not good at, and I can stand, okay? So in this case, you say, I like. What is something I, that you like? I like? I like swimming. Swimming, good, I like swimming. I like? Eating. Listening to music. Listening to music, very good. I like? I like, I like sharing I, with my I friends. Like, I like sharing with my friends. I like, Nidia? I like cooking. I like cooking. Very good. What about uh, hate? I hate. I hate cooking. <laughs> I, hate, I love cooking. I hate cooking. <laughs> I, you know, I hate. I hate to eat. Uh, I have to, to wake up uh, too early. Ajá, hagámoslo, Gerund. I hate. Uh, I have uh, waking up too early. Okay, I hate waking up early. It's like, I know I don't want to wake up, right? I hate waking up early. I hate waking up late. What about if you have some someone is ringing your bell? <laughs> ring, ring. Yeah, you have to go. You have to go and open, yeah. right? There is no option. You have, to, you have to wake up and then stand up. <laughs> exactly. Five minutes more. Five minutes more. Ten yeah. minutes more. It it happens, right? That I have, for example, in my case, I have a big dog, right? Yo tengo un perro que es bastante grande. And when someone, for example, is making a little noise on the street, she goes to me and she barks on my face. She goes next to my bed, right? Separa la parte de mi cama. And then she's like, wow, 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 wow. Exactly of my face. And I'm like, and I hate getting up to see what's happening because she doesn't keep silent until I go up and go and check with her. It's like, mommy, whenever, <laughs> all the time. So I, I hate that. And so I hate getting up and check. I am good at. Using computer systems. I am good at using computer systems. I am good at. Selling. A selling, I very good. Do. I'm good at selling, good. I am good at. Uh, I am good. I am good. I am good at using uh, a, a teacher. Using. I I am good, I am at, good at sleeping. <laughs> sleeping, go on, Edgar. What did you say? I am good at. I am good at teaching. At teaching, how beautiful! Yes, that's nice, right, Jancy? What are you good at? I am good uh, at. Uh, oh, okay, teacher. Excuse me. Don't worry. Uh, I am good at um, at at I read read the books. I am good at reading, right? I am good, good at reading. At reading. Right. At reading. Yeah. Uh, I am good. I am good fixing the washing machine of my wife. I am good at fixing washing machines. That's so fantastic, wow. right? How do you agree and disagree? And if you say, for example, I like traveling, so do I. También a mí. Or like, oh, I don't. That is to disagree. To agree is like, so do I. I like cooking, so do I. I like traveling, so do I, right? I am not good at, porque aquí tenemos, I am not good. I am, sorry, I am good at. Tenemos el verbo be, so am I. Okay, si tenemos un verbo normal, I like, I hate, right? So do I. But if I have the verb to be, uh, so am I, right? And to disagree, really, I like it. I hate working on weekends, right? No le decimos, I so do I. Yo también lo odio. Pero si tú no lo odias, you say like, really? I like it. So you contradict the answer. The next one, when you use it in negative, 
I don't mind working long hours. No me importa trabajar largas jornadas. Neither do I, ni tampoco a mí. Or, well, I do. It's like, mm -mm, I don't like it. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. Aquí tenemos neither am I, porque aquí tenemos I'm not good, okay? I am, you can say, it's like, if you are not, I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I, porque ocupamos can aquí. Neither can I. Uh-huh. Why do you have can here? Oh. Do you say can't? Because you are using can't on the normal sentence, right? I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Or, oh, I don't mind. I mean, no, no me molesta, right? So this is the way you use some of the gerunds and the short forms. Let's keep working here. I have some examples. And it says, I love eating ice cream. And in this one, you have the subject, the verb be, and the complement and the gerund. I love eating ice cream. The subject, the verb, the verb in the ing form, and the complement, right? I hate doing homework. The subject, the verb, ing, complement. And the examples that we were doing. The next one. To agree, so do I. Love, hate, like, and enjoy. So do I. I am good at, so am I. Because you have the verb be on the sentence. To disagree, I don't, I like it, I love it, or I am not good at. I am interested in, I am interested in learning new languages. I am not, you say. That's to disagree. It's like, I bossy, you know, right? I am not. In this one, for the negative forms, I don't like working on weekends. The verb, the auxiliary, the subject, sorry, the auxiliary, the verb, ing, and the complement. I can't stand commuting. Do you know what's the meaning of commuting? Commuting is to travel from your house to your job, from your job to your house. That is commuting. When you go from your house to your work and from your work to your house every day, that is commuting. Another example that I can show you is this one, agree, to agree something. I don't like, I don't mind, I don't enjoy, neither do I. I'm not good at, I'm not interested in, neither am I. I can't stand, neither can I. Okay, like the examples that I show you in the first block. And the verbs followed by gerunds. You can use like, enjoy, love, hate, I am good at, or I'm interested in. Después de todos estos verbos podemos ocupar un gerund. I like cooking, I enjoy traveling, I love making, I don't know, cakes. I hate waiting for people. I'm not good at washing the dishes. I am interested in uh, learning new cultures. Also, don't like, don't enjoy, I am not good at, I'm not interested in, and I don't mind, and I can stand, okay? All these can be followed by gerunds. And here I have some more examples, right? Here I have two pictures. I really like, I don't mind, I can't stand, I'm interested in, I was very good at, and not, I am not good at. And you can give me one of the options right here. Here you have the picture of the lady. What is she doing? Playing tennis. She's playing tennis, right? So it says, I really like? Playing tennis. I really like? Playing tennis. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, maybe I'll the top. Let me fix it. I really like playing tennis. What about the next one? I don't mind. Riding the bus. Riding, riding the bus. I don't mind riding the bus. I can't stand. 
Driving in traffic. Driving in traffic, right? I'm interested in. Yes. 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 I was very good at drawing, uh, drawing, drawing at school. school. Drawing at school. I am not good at dancing. dancing. I, I am not good at dancing. So for you, are these sentences true for you? I really like playing tennis. Do you and really teacher, like? Uh -huh. I like okay. drawing. Okay, I really like drawing. Good. Yes. Who likes playing tennis? Uh -oh. I think it's a sport that we don't normally practice here. I I think playing tennis is the same like playing ping pong, right? Okay. Yeah, but the the difference is that tennis is on a field, and uh -huh. a ping pong or a, what is the name of this in English? I really like badminton. Badminton, right? No, it has another name, table tennis. Uh, yeah, table tennis. Table yeah, tennis. Ping, right? Ping pong, right? That is ping pong in, in Spanish, but, but in English it's table tennis. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you like badminton, Raul? Yeah. And do you play that? Yeah. Uh, I practice it when my son, uh, when my son uh, was uh, 10 years. Oh. I, uh, yes. Uh, um, I, uh, I went with, with my son, practice about uh, two years. Oh, how interesting. I didn't know that we had that opportunity. Was it here in El Salvador? Uh, Yes, there, there, there was a, but now, um, but yesterday I saw uh, the federation and they are remodeling. They are remodeling, remodeling. They are remodeling and the yard is in there. Oh, okay. So, but it is curious, right? That we have that here in our country. Okay. I have more examples here. Okay, hoy les traía un montón de ejemplos. And here we have for affirmative statements with gerunds, right? I like driving. I hate working on weekends, and I am not good at using computers. And here, here we have Kaiser. Kaiser, ¿qué pasó? Atáquelo. I like driving. Me gusta conducir. I hate working, odio trabajar los fines de semana. I am good at using computers, soy bueno usando computadoras. And here, when you agree, a mí también me gusta, yo también odio trabajar los fines de semana y yo también soy bueno usando computadoras. That is the meaning of these three forms. And in this one, it says like, oh, I don't really, I like it, or gee, I'm not, right? A mí no, en serio, a mí me gusta. Caramba, yo no. So those are the forms that I was explaining you before in the sentences. I have here other examples with the negatives. And you have, no me molesta trabajar de noche. I don't mind working on the evenings. I am not good at writing reports. No soy bueno redactando reportes o informes. I can't stand making mistakes. No soporto, right? And the forms of agreeing and disagreeing a mí tampoco, yo tampoco. Bueno, a mí sí. Lo dice like, well, I do. Yo sí, I am. I am not good at writing reports. I am, right? It's just like, I can stand making mistakes. Oh, I don't mind. Oh, a mí no me importa, right? You can continue living your life with mistakes. And here I have a couple of examples, right? With love. What is the sentence, the example sentence that we have with love, people? Tom loves email. mainly discussing oh, in Paris. What about with like? They, they don't, don't like. They eating. don't like they don't eating. eating octopus. Octopus. What about the next one? I hate eating. Yeah, I hate being in a no noisy restaurant. What about enjoy? 
Mary, 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 Chocolate. What about the next one? We, yes, stopped we stopped eating pizzas, right? The next one. I quit smoking, smoking in a <laughs> He quit smoking, right? It's like not anymore, right? He quit stopping uh, smoking. Sorry, he quit stopping. <laughs> he quit smoking in January. The next one with can stand. He's stopping mm -hmm. smoking. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. stand really mm -hmm. about, mm -hmm. really about politics. You can say stop smoking as well. But it's just like when you say I stop smoking, it's like see, sí, he dejado de fumar. But if you say I quit smoking, it's like dejé totalmente. Mm -hmm. Lo dejé. But that's the difference. The next one, don't mind. She doesn't mind. She doesn't she doesn't mind mind answering the phone the whole day. The next one, my brother. My brother is good at selling books. Okay. And OM personal is interested in helping people. Okay. So those are good examples of forms with gerunds in sentences. I need you to create at least one sentence similar to these ones. You can change the information, restaurant, octopus, Paris, pizza, January. You can change that, but I need you to create at least one sentence and send it on the chat, okay? Creen al menos una y mandenla al chat de Zoom or WhatsApp, either way. Teacher, what mean OM first? Oh, personal. it's the name. It's the name of the enterprise. OM Personal. It's like if you say uh, English Corporativo is interested, or Claro is interested, Tigo is interested. It's the name of the company. Es el nombre de la compañía ficticia que inventé ahí para ponerle. Okay. Ortiz Martinez. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just invented. Okay, send me one sentence. I enjoy cooking for the people I love. Very beautiful. Sara loves teaching English to children. That's my sentence. My sister loves spending time with her daughter. Beautiful. More examples. Edgar, tell me. I don't like waiting for so long. I don't like waiting for so long. Yeah, I don't like waiting for people. Yeah, we match there. I don't like waiting for, I love drinking coffee with delicious bread. I hate working on Sundays. Me too. I, I hate love to be on time all I, the time. I love being on time, right? I love watching Korean dramas. I'm interested in learning styling. Nice. I hate working on Sundays. Me too. I love watching, watching, Ceci. No falta la te ahí. Watching horror movies. I'm interested in learning styling. Very nice, Joanna. And then Joanna Salon y Boutique. Okay, my brother can stand watching romantic movies. Romantic, sin ese, romantic movies. Okay, keep sending more examples, people. It's important that you have the chance to practice. Okay, okay. I can stand studying in a crowded place. Yes, I love listening to music at night. Me too. I love that. Okay, I hate working on weekends. On weekends. I hate working on weekends, you say. 
Good, so I have many good examples. Thank you very much, my dear students. I really love when you get the idea and when you get the examples correct. I have here some others for you to match, okay? I need you to make a matching. And how are you going to do it? On your notebook, I have three more. We love going out on Friday. I'm interested in learning about medicine. I love going to the beach, me too. What you are going to do to make the matching, you are going to say number one and the letter B, for example. One B, two C, three D, right, et cetera, et cetera. On your notebook, I need you to make the matching, please. So you say number one, letter A, B, C, D, E, O, F, G, H. I need you to make the matching of the sentences. I hate getting up early. Yes, that's a, a shared feeling. Okay. Hagamos los matching, porfa, en el cuaderno. Number and letter. Go ahead. Did you finish, Edgar? Did you finish? Not yet, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay, what is the answer that you have for number one? I don't like. I don't, I don't like, like, I don't like sitting in a long meeting. Okay, in this one, and that's the answer that I wanted to have, right? Not all of you are going to have the same answer and there are no correct or incorrect answers because maybe for me, I don't like talking on a cell phone. I don't like commuting by bicycle because I cannot ride a bicycle. Porque no puedo andar en bici, so I don't like it. <laughs> and maybe for someone, I don't like eating lunch out every day, Ash, right? And so the answers are going to be totally different and that's okay and it's perfect. What is the answer for you, Edgar, for number one? I don't like. I don't like in, sitting in a long, meeting. I don't like sitting in a long meeting, says Edgar. Cesar, what do you have for I don't like? Uh, commuting by bicycle. I don't like commuting by bicycle, right? I don't like commuting by bicycle. Joanna, what is something that you don't like? I don't like working with a group or team. Oh. The thing. <laughs> <laughs> right? If it is this one, yes. I, I don't like working with a group or team. Good. Very good. That's the magic of this exercise. There are no incorrect or correct answers. Yeah. Gabriela. I don't like uh, sitting in long meetings. Sitting in long meetings. Isabel. I don't like sitting in long meetings. <laughs> I don't like sitting in long meetings. What about Jose Daniel? I don't like. 
Sitting and long meetings. Sitting in long meetings. Alejandro, Angel Alejandro. Uh, I don't like talking on a cell phone. Talking on a cell phone. Yeah, you are on my team. I like talking on the cell phone. Let's see, Edson. I don't like. I don't like sitting in long meetings. Sitting in long meetings. Reina? Reinita? Miguel Angel? I don't like. I don't like uh, managing my time. Managing, you don't like managing your time. Manejar mi tiempo, right. I don't like when someone else manages my time. Okay. Um, Samuel Isaac, I don't like. Mr. Samuel. Raul de Jesus, I don't like. Mr. Raul. Oh, the microphone. Hey, teacher. Sorry, teacher. Don't I, worry. I was answering, but my wife was. Uh, okay. I don't like uh, uh, sitting in long meetings. Sitting in long meetings, right? We agree on that one. What is something, and I don't, anybody can give me the, the answer. I hate. I hate sitting in long meetings. I hate sitting in long meetings, right? Me too. What is something else that you hate, people? Learning languages, you will say. <gasps> Wasting, Wasting time. Learning wasting time, right? I, I, I hate wasting time. I am interested in. I'm interested in learning foreign languages. Learning foreign languages, right? I am yeah. interested in managing my time, right? Because that, that can be good. I enjoy. I enjoy commuting, commuting by bicycle. I enjoy commuting uh, by bicycle, right? I enjoy eating lunch all the day. I enjoy eating lunch out every day. That would be fantastic, right? Todos los días en un restaurante yeah. nuevo. <laughs> no, today be... I went to <laughs> uh, I went to eat to the mar to the market. Oh, but that's nice. Nice and cheap and delicious. <laughs> Depending on the market, right? San, Mar San Marcos. San oh, so you see, it is good. Thank you, Edgar. You are Niño, what are you doing on my presentation? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Niño, what are you doing there? <laughs> Good. So you see, you have different answers, different answers on different things. I hate and I can't stand. When you say I hate is something that ah, I don't like it, but I can't stand. It's something that you really, I mean, it goes on your nerves. And it's like, no lo soporto. I can't stand. Right, I can't stand solving other people's problems, for example. It's like, no, right? I cannot stand that. And that is a very good example. Well, I am going to call the attendance. I will stop this for a second and I will call the attendance. And then I will continue with the next exercise that I have prepared for you. But let me just go over to this one. Chan, chan, chan. Okay, here we go. Alejandra Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Ángel Alejandro. I'm here, teacher. Cecilia de Los Ángeles. Here, teacher. César Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Edgar Abel. I'm here, teacher. Edson Stanley. Present, teacher. Eduardo José. Eduardito. Present teacher. Thank you. Elvira. Elvira. No lo voy a decir. Elvirita, tal vez. Elvira. 
Not here. Ever Ernesto? Ever. Evercito, Leon. Ah, Elvira, thank you. You're here. Ever. Gabriela Michelle. Thank you. Gabriela Michelle? Present. Isabel? Present teacher. Jenny? Hey, and Jenny. Joana Yesenia? Present teacher. Jose Daniel? Jose Daniel? Jose Danielit? Present teacher. Present teacher. You see, it works. Carla Fabiola? Carla Fabiola, where are you? Catherine Alejandra? Present teacher. Miguel Ángel? Present teacher. Nidia Esmeralda? Present teacher. Raúl, Raúl de Jesús, thank you. Present teacher. Reina Elizabeth? Thank you. Ruth Elizabeth? Ruth, Ruth, Ruth. Rutsita. Nada, ni con Rutsita. Samuel Isaac. Present. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. Jancy Astrid. Present teacher. Teacher Nati. Present. Okay, good. So we are going to continue here the second part of the practice. Who is in the chat? Present Miss Itzas. Okay, thank you, Reina. I got your answer. Okay, let me just move a little bit here. And I will show you, okay, this part. And here we go. My dear students, this is, well, the, in the manual, we have all this. And this is what we were doing on the previous class, right? And I don't like working on weekends. Your most favorite sentence on this night, it's right here on the name of the unit, right? Here at the beginning, we have all the top job uh, places that we have, teachers, nurses, executives, computer analysts, computer analyst, truck driver, social worker, lawyer, financial manager, computer engineer and accountant. It's the lowest, right? Uh, top job in the United States. Do you like your job, people? Yes. Okay. Yes? Because I don't yes. have right now. <laughs> Come on, because I don't have right now. But uh, when you get it, for sure, what you are preparing to, you are going to enjoy it. I love my job. I love what I do. It's my favorite thing, right? And I really enjoy it because I like it. So here we have the ones that I was showing you, right? Eso es lo que les estuve mostrando antes acerca de los gerunds, right? The exercise that we did, you have it on the manual. Todos los ejercicios que hemos hecho los tienen en su manual también, okay? So this is what we were doing right now, the pronunciation and the different types of jobs. Here we have flight attendant. Go with me, practice. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Teacher. 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 Songwriter. Songwriter. Lawyer. Lawyer. Bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. Doctor. 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 Marine biologist. Marine, Marine biologist. biologist. Model. 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 Architect. Architect. From all these jobs that we have here, which one do you consider interesting? That you say, I like maybe the doctor. I like the model. 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 Okay. Imagine Jesus there modeling it. See, man. <laughs> <laughs> What other job do you consider interesting? Bookkeeper. Right. Bookkeeper, right? The biologist, the writer. Okay. What about the lawyer? Teacher. 
the oh, teacher doctor. for sure. <laughs> the doctor. <laughs> the doctor, yes. Good. Yeah. The doctor. The architect. I am not very good at drawing, right? But it can be. I would love to be a flight attendant. That's my dream. To be a flight attendant or to work at the airport announcing the teacher, flights. Teacher, you are young enough to be yeah. there. I, I can be there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You speak, you speak English and I don't know how many languages do you speak? I speak a little bit of French, a little bit of, uh, well, I speak Spanish. I speak English very well. I, I think okay. I will do it one day when my son gets like a little bit older. I okay. Will go, I will go and travel around the world. So okay. <laughs> do you think that a bookkeeper is an interesting job? Yes, it is. One bookkeeper. A bookkeeper, the one that works at the library, organizing the books and like putting um, them in sessions. Like, how do you call that in Spanish? Bibliotecario, Bibliotecario right? It, they will say like, oh, what a horrible thing. I love books. That would be my perfect thing. I, I like organizing things. You like organizing things. So you see, that will be a very good profile for you. So tomorrow we are going to be talking about the different skills at work. ¿Saben qué significa skills at work? Habilidades, Habilidades laborales. So that's, that's what we are going to be talking about tomorrow. So for this one, we are going to use different types of adjectives, right? We are going to use different types of adjectives that you might have for you to work in different places like those. I have here, okay, <laughs> Mr. Abel working on my, on my screen <laughs> as well. Okay, okay, let me just go here. And in this one, here we have different types of adjectives that are this, the starting point of these different skills at work, right? Someone who is organized, someone who is uh, impatient, someone who is disorganized, someone who is efficient, right? Someone who is generous, bad temper, like, oh, the mecha corta, they say. It's like they are bad temper, hardworking, the person that is always doing everything at work, right? And we are going to be working on different types of adjectives. So if you can investigate a little bit more on this one, for you to use it tomorrow, that will be perfect, okay? Different skills, different adjectives that you can use to describe people at work, okay? How are you at work? Are you the nice and soft person that I can see here? Así de lindo como lo veo en clases o en el trabajo. General uh -huh. all the time. General all the time, right? All is, it, the time. is it like that? It's like, no, es que César nunca se enoja. Así de lindo como son aquí en clases o en el Very trabajo. Life, no, no, <laughs> you <no>. smile. <laughs> And he's like, hi, teacher. La teacher, licencia. you have to keep. Everything is smiling. Uh, I, I, I have to. I have to. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, for example, you you see me here. You see me all happy and everything, but I am very strict at work. Yeah, when I am okay. at work, I am very strict. It's like, sí, licenciada. Ahorita licenciada. Ahorita voy licenciada. <laughs> That's what people do. But I am a good. I am a good boss. smiling. Yeah, and yeah. everything is smiling. Yeah, I do it, right? Yeah, if I if I will call your attention, I will do it in a nice way. So we are going to talk about this tomorrow. We are going to talk about all these different definitions about character traits for work. And before I finish, I need to share something with you here. Let me just share something that I have right here. Let me just go back. And it's right here. I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven questions. And if you can screenshot them, that would be perfect. Okay, tenemos siete preguntas. Second screenshot, please. 
sonrío porque si no después salgo con los ojos cerrados en la screenshot. There you go. Screenshot the questions, please. And I need you to choose one for the audio for tomorrow, okay? Okay. Ya se acabó la plataforma y vamos a hacer audio de esta semana. So, <laughs> it's like, oh, no, teacher, no. Choose one for the audio for tomorrow. One minute, okay? One minute. Choose mm -hmm. one of the questions and answer it. What is something you avoid doing? Is there something you consider doing? What are some activities that you dislike, that you don't like? What type of exercises do you hate? What kind of activities does your job or study involve? What housework you don't, you do not mind doing? Is there anything you keep doing even though you know you shouldn't? Hay algo que siguen haciendo a pesar de que saben que no lo tienen que hacer? I don't know. Give me your answers on the audio tomorrow, okay? Have a beautiful <laughs> night, my dear students. And I'm going to wait for your audios during the day. Tienen todo el día okay. para enviar el audio. Have a wonderful night. I will okay. see you tomorrow for the next game. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.